In my role as champion duelist, my opinions do not matter. For when I draw my blade, I am but an instrument of Fontaine's law. Ready. Where evil looks, shoot on sight. Animations. Oh, did you see that ultimate? So good. That ultimate is so cool. Mm hmm. Clarence's strength actually has a really interesting origin. She inherited it from the Marachose Hunters. Ooh, the Hunters from the Artifact Set. Mm hmm. The Marachose Hunters were an organization that defeated monsters and upheld justice from the shadows. I think the group's name has also been mentioned in some of Fontaine's historical records. Exactly. The Marachose hunters have a long history. To modern-day Fontanians, they're nothing more than an old legend from novels and plays, but for Claran, the Marachose hunters' legacy is really real. If travelers want to learn more about the Marachose hunters, then be sure to check out Claran's story quest in the new version. I want to learn more about the Marachose hunters. Perfect, then let's get into her combat abilities. Claran is categorized as an electro sword user, but she actually uses both a sword and a pistolet to attack her enemies during combat. Now, her normal attack deals physical damage by performing up to five consecutive strikes. During her charged attack, Claran uses her pistolet to target enemies in a V shape in front of her. Hmm. Also, Claran has developed a special ritual over the years. She always polishes her weapon before each duel. That is so dignified of her. I know, right? And kind of adorable. Even the champion <sighs> duelist of Fontaine has a cute side, huh? Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah is starting to sound just like Sijui. Oh, what? Though it's probably a meaningful ritual for Claran, right? That's exactly right. It's a habit that helps Claran focus on the opponent in front of her. In fact, Claran's elemental skill, Hunter's Vigil, is an ability that demonstrates how potent she can be when she's focused. Ooh. Check this out. During combat, unleashing Claran's elemental skill will cause her to enter the Night Vigil state. During this state, Claran can unleash two different types of special attacks. Her normal attacks will be converted into Swift Hunt Pistolet attacks, and her elemental skill will be converted into a lunging attack, Impale the Knight. Huh. It looks like Clarion gains a bond of life during her elemental skill. Does the skill have any additional effects? Oh, good perception on those eyes. Those Swift Hunt Pistolet attacks increase Clarion's bond of life, and her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, will clear the bond of life. Wait, so she accumulates the bond with one hand and then clears it with the other? Oh, hey, that's a really good explanation. Yeah, Claran's special attacks have different effects depending on the value of her Bond of Life. So when her Bond of Life is, like, relatively low, her Swift Hunt Pistolet attacks have a piercing effect, and they deal greater damage. But when her Bond of Life is relatively high, her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, has a greater AoE and deals higher damage. Again. Ah, gotcha, I get it. <laughs> so Claran is meant to use her Pistolet to accumulate a Bond of Life and then use her sword to clear it once it reaches a certain amount. And that way, both attacks hmm. benefit each other. Bingo! Though you should remember the effect of one of Claran's unique talents. So when she's in the Night Vigil state, any healing other than the one provided by her lunging attack, Impale the Knight, will be converted into a Bond of Life. This unique talent allows different healing effects to alter the pacing of Cloran's gameplay. So travelers can experiment with a variety of different tactical combinations. That's cool. Also, although Clarand is most renowned as a champion duelist, she has never forgotten her identity as a Marachose hunter. So, during her elemental burst, Last Lightfall, Cloran draws on her Marachose hunter heritage to unleash an ancient skill that empowers mortals to fight deadly monsters. This ability allows her to swiftly evade enemy attacks and strike her opponents. Her burst deals AoE electro damage and grants her a bond of life based on her max HP. Wow, that's so cool. But if that power is designed to fight monsters, is it really okay for her to use it in a regular duel? <laughs> Good point. I think Cloran just has to adjust the uh, amount of force that she puts behind those blows. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Also, Cloran can draw on the strength of her companions after unlocking her passive talent, Dark Shattering Flame. Man, that sounds cool. So, when a nearby party member triggers an electro-related reaction, the electro damage dealt by her normal attack and her elemental burst will increase based on her attack value. Though, note, there is a ceiling to the damage bonus that she can gain from this effect. 
Clarand also has another passive talent called Lawful Remuneration. If her bond of life is greater than or equal to a certain percentage, then a change in her bond of life value will increase her crit rate. That's right. And while she's in the night vigil state, the percentage of healing converted into a bond of life will increase. Wow. Yeah. And finally, being a champion duelist gives Clorand a strong familiarity with all the regions of Fontaine. So when she's in your party, Clorand can reveal the locations of Fontaine regional resources on the minimap. So awesome. <laughs> I'm sure that travelers will be eager to use her to uncover treasure, defeat monsters, and of course, uphold justice. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> so, 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 Clorand is usually pretty stern and composed as a champion duelist, but I wonder how she unwinds. Like, does she have any hobbies? Ooh. I'm sure that she has some interest outside of work. I mean, she's always accepting cosmetic products from Sejuin and making sure to return the favor because she's sweet. Aw, and yeah, of course she does. Clorand is an active member of the tabletop troupe during her off hours. So, in version 4.7, travelers won't just have have the chance to learn more about the Marachose Hunters during her story quest, the Raparia chapter, they'll also get to join Cloran on a very special tabletop troop adventure. Woo! I love TTRPGs so much. Ooh, I know, I'm so excited! <laughs> yeah. And uh, with all of that, that is all the information that I have to share about Cloran. So, next up, let's introduce our adorable little Sejuin. Oh, yes, yes! Okay, sorry, <laughs> too excited. Hold on, hold on. We gotta look at her demo first. Yes! 